hey guys hey guys good morning and welcome back to my channel my name is chef mobi and this morning guys i'm going to be serving you guys sweet saucy pepper happy gist like this gist is a happy one but it's very positive all round so guys ever since yesterday twitter has been buzzing like it had been buzzing for this news circulating around the internet of Anthony Joshua enrolling for his national ID card, his Nigerian ID card. Like, man, I could not be happier. I mean, we all know he's, he's Nigerian, he's half Nigerian now, but like this kind of just makes it official. While uh, I woke up to news of Olam De Bado being signed to Empire Records. Now, like this is international flicks, international moves. So guys, I'm going to be taking you through the gist and I'll be serving you guys with evidence but before we continue if you are seeing my video for the first time and you're coming across my channel for the first time good day and welcome to my channel please pause this video right now and click on the red subscribe button and also do not forget to click on the notification bell button so that when next i drop a video you will be the first to get it asap now let's dive right into the gist of the day let's go <music> I hope you've subscribed. Now, I'm going to start with the Anthony Joshua gist. Me, I'm really happy, very, very happy personally that Anthony Joshua has taken this step. It is uh, a very positive thing for our worldwide uh, view. Uh, how the how rest of the world sees us, uh, a son of the soil is coming back to really own this and really uh, show, showcase himself as a Nigerian, a public figure, a world champion. It's really, really good for us. But the issue I have with this thing is that uh, all over Twitter yesterday, people were showing, uh, were trolling NIMC. And what were they trolling them on? It was, okay, now, Anthony Joshua has joined. I mean, uh, Anthony Joshua has come for his national ID card. When is he going to get his original plastic ID card? We all know Nigeria, in Nigeria, the plastic ID card never comes. If it comes, it doesn't come on time. It comes like, years after enrollment all we just carry around is the sleep why is it like that is it going to be the same case with anthony joshua that was what everybody was talking about yesterday like this guy has taken a bold step of coming to do this and are they still also gonna fuck it up by not giving this guy of course they might give him preferential treatment and go ahead to give him his plastic uh, version on time but then other people how about we civilians a lot of people were saying this on twitter yesterday that I have registered two, two, two years back. I've still not gotten my plastic uh, version of the ID card. Why? And all like that. And it is very, very bad. It is very, very bad. It is not nice at all. If they, Even if they'll be producing it in low batches, in small quantity, they can still be giving these ID cards out rather than people carrying around paper ID cards. It is really not nice at all. Will you have Anthony Joshua carry paper ID cards around? So guys, whatever you feel about that, about this and NIMC National ID card thing, let me know in the comment section. Maybe there's something they can do about it or something that's causing this and we don't see behind the scenes. Let me know in the comment section. Okay, now I'll move on to Bado. So this morning I woke up to news that Olam De Bado had been signed to Empire Records and nothing could make my art happier like i was so so happy you know like there have been uh artists and journal artists doing international collaborations with uh other top notch artists out there and it has been like it's only the afrobeat afrobeat and uh, afrobeat artists that were out there to do international collabs but finally seeing you know, all i'm able to get this gig is signed to empire records and do you know the people under that label we've got the likes of snoop dogg uh in fact, yeah, my, my brain is, is fried from ecstasy right now. But that, that person, Tiga, I just like Tiga at their Snoop Dogg. So, like, it's a really, really good deal for him. And I really can't wait to hear more of the juicy details on this thing. So, that's it, guys. What do you think about this new deal for Lamide Bado? I feel like it's been a long time coming for this reward to come. Although I didn't expect this kind of reward to come here. I didn't expect it at all. I know... He was going to get rewarded, but not this way. Because I mean, me, I'm even, I'm even looking forward to see how it will work together. An artist of Olam Day 
genre, his type of rap, his type of music with an international collaboration like that, an international deal like that. I really don't know how it's going to work, but that's the joy of everything. We look forward to the suspense. I can't wait for him to put out content with them. So, guys, what do you feel about this? Let me know in the comment section. And do not forget Anthony Joshua's National ID card issue too. Let me know what's up, what's up, what you think about the issue. All right, guys. So, before you go, ensure you subscribe to my channel and click on the notification button right there. Have a great day, guys.